And welcome back. Welcome to our Community Corner. Joining us this morning is Andrea Bartlett. She's the manager of the B Embedded Behavioral Health Providers at OSF. And she's here to tell us about the post-holiday blues. Thanks for coming in this morning, Andrea. Thank you for having me. Of course. So let's talk about the post-holiday blues. What exactly is that? So the post-holiday blues are, they occur after intense stress or mm -hmm. um, emotions that the holidays bring on from basically the start of Thanksgiving to the mm -hmm. end of New Year's. Okay. And what exactly causes post-holiday blues? You, you kind of just mentioned stress. Yeah, <laughs> stress. And so a lot of the times post-holiday blues can be um, mimicked with symptoms such as anxiety or depression, irritability, mm -hmm. low energy, fatigue, um, hopelessness, some um, insomnia. Mm -hmm. What brings it on is the letdown of all the excitement and the hustle and bustle of the holidays. Right. Um, you know, family get-togethers, parties, engagements, mm -hmm. gift exchange, cookies, baking. Right. And there is a lot that goes on during the holidays, all those things that you mentioned, plus the stress of buying gifts and affording those gifts mm -hmm. and buying the right thing. So there is a lot of stress that comes with that. Gift exchanges. Yeah. Lots of that. Yeah. So what can someone do to help someone who may have the post-holiday blues? There's a couple things that we would suggest. We would suggest going out and being with people, making an intent effort to be with your family and to re-engage with um, people that you might not have seen. Um, Rereading your, your greeting cards is a wonderful way to just put a smile on your face. Mm -hmm. uh, I also have friends who, um, I think it's a phenomenal idea, they keep their Christmas tree up year round and decorate oh. for each holiday. And so Aww. if it makes your heart smile, why not do it? It's for yeah. your, your enjoyment only. That's a great idea. And there's so many holidays throughout the year. There's Valentine's yeah. Day coming up, St. Patrick's Easter, Day, Easter. Fourth of July. Yeah, that's yeah. a great idea. I might have to steal that. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if someone needs additional support in combating the, the post-holiday blues? So at OSF, we have um, Silver Cloud. It's an online platform. And um, that, that would help with moderate to mild anxiety, depression, mm -hmm. some adjustment disorder with the, the lack of the holidays. We also have um, our embedded behavioral health providers who are my team. And in order to access a behavioral health provider, you would just start with your primary care physician. from. Mm -hmm just asking for a referral. It's short, brief counseling. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not long term. It's just a quick, can you help me with coping skills and then to be able to move on. Very nice. And if someone does want some help, where can they go? Who can they call to start getting that help? So um, if you would like some counseling services, you can start with your primary care physician. If you would like the silver cloud option on the online platform, you can just go to the OSF website and they would be able to um, click on some links there to direct you. Very nice. Nice and simple. That's right. Perfect. That's right. <laughs> well, thank you, Andrea, for coming in this morning. Thank you so much. Of course. And we'll be right back. But, of course, if you or someone you know would like to join our Community Corner, you can head to our website, 25newsnow.com, click on the Community Corner tab, go ahead and submit the form there, and we will take a look at it, and we would love to have you on our Community Corner. We'll be right back with more good news and weather.